Hi, we're Paul and Marie. We're a UK reselling couple based in Southampton in Hampshire. And this is the Turning 10 Old Toys into £2,000 Challenge. So where are we this week? Well, hun, we are week 14. Week and 14. If you're new to these videos, that what we're basically doing is we have a daughter who's 20. Mm. She's going to be 21 in June 2023. Yeah. And we are selling 10 of her old toys. And every time we sell them, we take the profit off. We we take the postage off. Not, don't take the profit, no profit off. Because the, there's no profit. There's no, no profit. We take the postage off. Yeah. And then we reinvest the money. You're reinvesting the money from those 10 yeah. old toys once you've taken all of your fees and everything off. Much better in, when you explain it, huh? Much better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and we're, we're, yeah. Reinvesting it, reinvesting it. it. Yes, and then we're, the challenge is for us is what we're already doing is buying clothes and shoes, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. And then... Um, uh, well, hopefully once, hopefully when they sell yeah um like i say then we're taking fees off postage off yeah. and um and then putting the money back in and it's just a rolling we're thing, trying to get two thousand pounds huh, aren't we? we are it's <laughs> quite an ambitious <laughs> challenge for two people that don't really sell clothing no we or know much about clothing or shoes that's it we didn't really but this is the challenge for us isn't it to yes. learn can we better ourselves as resellers um by having a bit of a niche with something we knew nothing about. Two challenges in one. Two challenges in one, yes. <laughs> so this week we are week 14. <coughs> so, so far we have, out of the 10 toys we started with, we have sold six. We have bought 47 items in total because the money's been reinvested. Wow. We have sold 12 items. We currently have 35 items listed on eBay. But we also have a kitty of £50 and 25p. And the listing value, as it, as those thirty five items stand, hun, mm. is seven hundred and sixty two pounds and twenty nine p. Lovely, that's Not all the bad, items is it? currently on eBay. Currently on eBay. Excellent. So that's with good. that fifty pound twenty five p kitty, we couldn't help ourselves, hun, could no. we? We've been out spend, spend, spend. Yeah. Let's show them what we've got, hun. We've got some corkers. Let's go through it. I'm gonna put my glasses on because I'm fooling no one, hun. <laughs> fooling no one. <laughs> All right. So what have we got? We're starting first? with a Karen Millen cardigan, hun, that was up for five ninety nine in a charity shop, and I was very excited about. That's the base of it, hun. That's is it? it. Oh, it's that way up. There we go. It is very it's nice. Lucky, actually. Isn't it? yeah. It's a size two. I'll have to do a bit of research, but it's like a belted cardigan. Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. Very nice. So that was five ninety nine, and we are looking at putting up for twenty nine ninety nine, hun. Just adjust my glasses so I don't get the ring light. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't look like a complete idiot. <laughs> That's the sort of um, profits you want from an item, isn't it? It is. So let's go for this next one, hun. This was a bit of a chance. It's party season is a, is almost upon yes, us. Yes, that's it, yeah. Um, this is by De Debut. Wait on. I'm assuming that's how you say it, that Debut. Yeah. Um, which I think was sold at Debenhams. It's new with tags. It was four ninety nine. It's a lovely navy blue colour. It's a, like a lacy... Um, sort of thing. And I thought well, that'll go for for all the older people with the old bingo wings <laughs> like myself. Then they'll be needing that for Christmas. So we are putting that up for twenty four ninety nine. Hum. Excellent. Then we have a crew clothing. I think this is a men's top, which we paid four fifty four. We've sold a similar ladies one before, haven't we? So we were sort of um, thought we'd do all right with it. Yeah. We're going to put it up for eighteen ninety nine. Excellent. Got a nice colour. That smells nice. It's been freshly it washed, hasn't it? Been, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now these these trousers, hun. Um, yeah. Quite liked for myself. They're my size. A size ten. <laughs> yeah, size ten. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to laugh there. <laughs> uh, you're ruining the illusion, hun. No. Um, that's that's not. No, me. they are. I was joking. They're not. Oh not, right, I'm oh, not size ten. <laughs> These okay. are a cotton trade. Don't say what the size is. No, Don't I'm tell not people. Don't say what the size is. Don't I tell people. I no. These are lovely, brand new with tags. And they are <laughs> sort of a check pattern, hun. But they're, I don't know, you can't probably part pick that up. But they're like a woolen sort of a uh, thick, wintry trouser, hun. They're very nice. Yeah. Um, they are, they were four pound, hun. Okay, that's, that's all right, isn't it? But they're so new, they've still got the... Um, still got the tag on. They've got the, like, paper over the... Oh, um, yeah. Over the buttons, couldn't oh, think of the name. Yeah. 
So we're going to put those up for twenty six ninety nine, hun. That's all right. They're nice, that? aren't they? We need to get them sold quick before I start wearing them. Yes. <laughs> Perfect for winter. Right, and then we finished with a white stuff skirt, hun, which we picked up for four pound, and we sold quite a few white stuff yeah. skirts, didn't we? So even though it's quite summery, we hopefully it's autumnal colours, and we might be all right. Yeah, you still do get some <clears> nice days, don't you? You do. September, October can still yeah. be quite warm, so we're going to put that up for sixteen ninety nine, hun. Excellent. So we have spent there twenty three pound and forty eight p. So as it stands, hun, we started off the kitty with fifty pounds and twenty five p. We've just spent twenty three pound forty eight, which leaves us with twenty six pound seventy seven left in the kitty. But, hun, breaking news: dun, dun, dun. we have sold something. So you're going to put them up here, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Now we have had a sale on this week, which yeah. um, which. It's meant we've sold more than we normally would have done. Yeah. But we've had a corker of a week, haven't we? Corker. So we'll start with the Per Uno, Per Una, not Per uh, Uno, uh, that's the game, <laughs> that's isn't the it? That's the game, Uno. I did that the other week, didn't I? I said, yeah. that's because we play that game. And, yeah. Um, per per Una, Una, green corduroy <laughs> jacket, which we sold for 1949. Um, we bought this quite early on, huh? It was E6 number, so it's one of the early yeah, ones. Uh, yeah. Um, but we paid for it for three pound. We paid it for three, three pounds, pound. not in English. <laughs> we paid three pound for it and sold it for nineteen forty nine. We've taken off the fees and the postage, and that gives us a profit of thirteen pounds seventeen. That does include the initial outlay of the three pound. Yeah. So that's going into the kitty right, home. Back into the kitty. Then breaking news, hun. We've More got breaking another one. News. We sold these gorgeous June silver shoes that we bought for party season mm. they sold for 20 pounds now if you remember i think it was only last week or the week before we paid five pounds mm. and we have got the profit back with the initial outlay 13 pound 58 so that's not bad that's quick good. flip that, that was is a quick flip another bit of breaking news hun more breaking about news. about to have a week we've had yeah, we have. crew clothing xxl shirt that we sold for 15 pounds and 19 we and our initial outlay was one pound seventy five. The profit is nine pound sixty three, which includes that initial outlay. Yeah. And then to wrap up the ten toys segment, we have sold the M and S size eighteen shirt for nine pound fifty three. Now this is skirt. It's not a shirt. It's, it's a not skirt. Shirt, it's a skirt. Yeah. Now, this is interesting, hun, because this was the the in the first week when we went out buying, mm. we didn't really know much. We bought yeah. this. Because it was two pound twenty five and it looked a bit leathery, it was oh, like right, a faux yeah. leather yeah. skirt, mm. and it was a decent size, a size eighteen. Yeah. Now, oh, over time, obviously, we've had it; it's, it's not sold, and now we've just had the sale, so it only sold for nine pound fifty three. So the the profit, including the initial outlay, was five pound thirty two. So mm. not very much at all profit, mm. but it was a, something we bought in the first week, and as yeah. you'll see. As we go along, we've got more profit. So we have been learning, I think. So we have, yeah, that's it. We should give ourselves a pat on the back for that, yeah. I think. <laughs> but as it stands, that's that skirt went for five pound thirty-two, um, but the initial outlay was two twenty-five. So out of those four things, hun, we have made a profit on the ten toys challenge of forty-one pounds seventy. Excellent. So we that's started good. off with fifty pounds twenty-five p. We bought some items, hun, that we've just showed for twenty three pound yeah. forty eight, which left us with twenty six seventy seven. We have now sold four items with a profit of forty one pound seventy. So we have hun a kitty of sixty eight pound forty seven. Excellent, that's great. We have bought fifty two in total. We have sold sixteen. We now have thirty six items, a kitty of sixty eight forty seven, and the listing value of the items listed with which includes these which aren't listed but they will be within a couple yeah. of days is 816 pounds and 3p hun wow it's going all right isn't it that is going all right the week 14 that's yeah. not bad at all so yeah from the just so well it's only um how many toys was it six we've sold yeah only six toys we yeah so from the six sold. toys initially hmm? that we sold we've accumulated what was those 36 listings yeah and um, yeah, listing value of 816. So yeah, not bad at all, is that's, it? That's not bad at all. But now Good we're going to go next level now. Next level, because yes. the next level in this challenge was a lovely lady who wanted to remain nameless, who we now call Miss A. Mm. She kindly sent us when we started. She kindly sent us a box of 30 items. Yeah. 
and we decided to keep the challenge um, separate to run it alongside so that it would give me a bit of a incentive to to keep going really mm. and it really has helped us it was 30 items um, of big branded things wasn't it mm. so that is the, the spending money for Emily's holidays and she's yeah, going to have an amazing time two challenges two challenges so where are we at for Miss A's challenge then mm. so we started off with 30 items so far now at week 14 we have bought 86 items we have sold 34 items which leaves 82 items listed on ebay we have a kitty of 59 pound 37 and those 82 items hun, have a listing value of go on you reveal it 1677 mm. i know crazy at week 14. Mm. so let's show them what we bought hun, because mm. we've been out spending again we have. Haven't we? yes we've got some different things this week some new oh <laughs> Some new new things, hun, that we've not had before. New oh, names. Gant. Okay. Gant. We've been waiting to get Gant, haven't we? Oh, These yeah. are Gant men's trousers. Yeah. And they were £5. And we will be putting them up for £22.99. Like a chino stipe type. I was trying to say style then. Style. Stipe. <laughs> style and type come out as stipe. Yeah. That's cool. So next, hun, we have a Gantt jumper. I think we got Another these all Gantt. from the same shop. So whoever right, donated, okay. donated all at the same time. This was five pound as well. Mm. Yeah. Not had a Gantt jumper before, so we'll give it a go. It might be overpriced in it. I don't know, but we're going to try for twenty two ninety nine and see what happens. Yeah, I so think, you can uh, do it, hun. Give it a go. If it doesn't it's sell, nice, we'll, we'll chip it away. Nice, nice though, isn't it? Yeah. It's the brand, and it people like to wear branded, yeah. branded things. This we're, is another... we're, not, we're not branded. No. Are we? <laughs> no. Well, we do have brands, but we want to hide them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Those yeah, are yeah. cheap brands, that's aren't cheap they? Brands, we don't yeah. want to advertise what we're wearing. <laughs> the, this is another Gant jumper. It's got Gant written right across the top. So it? hopefully oh, yeah. that will go out. Yeah. We bought, five, bought a £5 and it will be up for £22.99 and we'll see how we get on with it, hun. Mm. Now, this is something, hun, that I thought I would try. And I think last week we were doing things like um, mm. vintage Laura Ashley, and I thought, oh, this is vintage. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be worth a fortune, hun. But it turns out it's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. No. So I'm being really over ambitious with the pricing okay. on this one. But, but somebody, thought, somebody might want it. Because well, I it's... thought it's quite vintagey looking. Do you know what I mean? The pink and the blue. This is a polo shirt from Woolworths. A lot of youngsters won't even know what Woolworths yeah. is. Let me see if I can. Still remember that sad day when it closed. Yeah. To love Woolworths. Yeah. It was quite a long time ago. It, it was. 2008, I think. That's that was. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a size small, I think. We paid one ninety nine, hun. So I thought I'll risk it for it's this bit for one ninety nine. It? Yeah. It's not worth that much, but I'm putting it up for eighteen ninety nine. It's, it's which is not what souls go for, but that's what I'm going with. <laughs> It's in great condition. Though. Well, that's what I thought. It's, it's a lovely condition. colour. It can be worn by, um, you know, man or lady. Um, I don't know. I just think it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's give it a go. A bit retro -y. This is something we also took a bit of a pump on, hun, in the yeah, shop. It we did it, didn't we? I did it. Oh, I don't know, hun. What do you think? It's a it's sort of like a sports top, which I don't know anything about anyway. No. But it's because it had Stella McCartney um, on the label. And I thought, oh, I know Stella McCartney. It's linked with the London 2012 Olympics. And it's in really good condition, hun. Mm. So that's what made us sort of go for it. Yeah. We paid £5.50, which is why I did it about for ages, because I thought, oh, I don't know, it's a lot of money to, to waste. Mm. But we're going to put it up for £29.99, huh? because there are some okay. similar ones like that. That's um, good. Some similar new ones. Yeah. Um, which are more money, but we're going to give that a go and see, test the waters and see how we get on. Excellent. So now we come to this skirt, hum. Now we were in shop. We were racing because we were up against the clock. We were, yeah. And I said to Paul, I've heard this name. I don't know where I've heard it. It's probably more likely to be luxury pickers. Yeah. Um, but I've heard the name. So we got it and chanced it. It's a Desigual skirt. It was £4.50. And we'll be putting it up for nineteen ninety nine. Excellent. And then the last nice. item, hum, is a manta ray top. Might not be the best time to buy something as summer as this. It is very, but very before thin. Before you know it, it'll be Easter. <laughs> yeah. So it's two pound forty nine. I thought it's quite cheap and it's quite bright. And yeah. Some lucky people it still get to go on holiday, don't they? Yeah. So um, yes, you know, put up nice. for sixteen ninety nine and sort of see. Yeah. 
someone's got a cruise or going to the Caribbean in the next few weeks, they might want that. Yeah, be laughing. So, hun, we've spent a fair bit there. We've spent £29.48p. So, we started off the video with Miss A's portion with a kitty of £59.37. We've just spent £29.48, which leaves us with £29.89, hun. But breaking news, Ooh, this has been a belter news. of a week. And I mean a belter for Miss A. A belter. We have sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven items. <laughs> eleven. eleven items. In one week. In one week. That's what that sale's done. Yeah. It's really kick-started things, isn't it? Mm. So I'm going to go through, not too quickly, because I know you've got to put I've them got up. put the picture up, Don't yeah. want to make it too stressful, but we'll start off, home with this white stuff skirt that we sold for £9. Now, there's a bit of a story with this. It's a gorgeous sh skirt, as you'll see from the picture, but there was a small area, probably about an inch big, Mm. where the stitching had come away and I didn't notice this in the shop yeah so we would have put it up for more money um, but we did take an offer because the lady said she would need to sew it up which is fair enough so we were pleased that it was going yeah. to someone who was going to love it so the profit is only £4.87 and the initial outlay was £3.50 but we didn't notice the damage so that's it now we, something we, we to keep an eye out for no, no I wouldn't thing. have got it if it was if mm. I'd have known so it's going yeah. to a good home so that's all good yeah so then, hun, we've got this Bowden skirt. We, this was sold for fourteen ninety nine. Our initial outlay was £3.50, and the profit, which includes that, is £10 and a penny. That's going back in the kitty. Then, hun, we have this Hobbs cardigan. This was just a cotton and cashmere cardigan that went for fourteen ninety nine. The initial outlay was £4. So in total, we have £9.47p £9 profit <laughs> going back in the kitty. I'm talking way too fast. Yeah. <laughs> so then we have these men lin this men's linen trousers, which just goes to show people do buy things when it's you know coming into the cold season. Yeah, yeah. These sold for fifteen pounds and nineteen p. They were only one pound fifty, I think, because they were coming out of season. Mm. So we've got them such a good price. Yeah. So the profit for these hun, including that outlay, is ten pounds and eighteen. So that's not a bad one, is it? Mm. Then we have these two size eight leather loafers. They sold for £14.43p. The initial outlay was £2.25 because we got them in a half price sale, I remember, yes. over in Totten. So the, the price there that we've got back profit-wise, including that, is £9 a penny. Then hum, we've got this fat face skirt. This sold for £9. We didn't price it too much because it was only £1.50 and we wanted to turn it around quickly. But the profit we got back was £4.55. Now we've got this gorgeous LK Bennett dress. This was one of Miss A's original, one of the 30 items. Oh, right. We priced it high and it's, mm. it's now gone. So this was up for £24.49. That's what it sold for. There was no initial investment because it was donated. Yeah. Um, so the profit is £16.13p. We have this Bowden long sleeve blouse, which is another one of Miss A's original items. So there was no initial outlay, but it sold for £11.39. Profit is £6.51. It's going to rack up, hum, it is profit, up. isn't it? Going back yeah. into the kitty. Mm. So then, hum, we have these M&S Airflex shoes that we paid £4 for. They've sold for £19.99. So the profit, including that initial outlay, is £14.30 going back into the kitty. Now we've got these gorgeous Karen Millen trousers. These, again, were from Miss A's original box. All right, okay. So there's no initial outlay, but they sold for £23. They were new with tags. We have £16.05 going back into the kitty. This is a recent buy, hun. The Rohan shirt, the Sunset shirt. Mm -hmm. We took an offer on that for £14.44. The initial outlay was three pound, and the profit is nine pound and four p. I think that was probably a sale price of fourteen forty four. Probably was because it's yeah. a bit of an unusual price, wasn't yeah. it? And I think that concludes all the items hung. I hope I haven't raced through too quickly. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. flipping up and coming back. <laughs> um, so, why don't you do the big reveal for the, the profit? The big reveal, the profit that's going back into the kitty Just from, from those, those eleven, 11 items. sales. Mm is £110.12. Crazy, hun. What a crazy week we've had. That's great though, isn't it? It is. We're really, really chuffed. Mm. So we started off this video with um, with 86 items. We now have 93 items. We have sold 45 items, hun. 
Um, we now have 78 items in um, listed, you know, the ones we've just shown. Yeah, yeah. Now, that is less than last time because we've sold more. Sold more than we've listed. Than we've listed. Mm. So, or more than we bought. More, yeah, yeah. So the kitty, <laughs> we started off with 59.37. We bought those items that we've shown for 29.48. That left us with 29.89. Then we've have we put the profit back in of 110 pound and 12p. Hun, you do the big reveal. The big reveal. The kitty from Miss A is 140 pounds and a penny. You know what that means, then, don't you? What's it that? means we have. Two hundred pounds worth of spending wow. to do. <laughs> let's go now. Let's go. <laughs> I love buying all these clothes, huh? Yeah. So the kitty is one hundred and forty pounds and a penny for Miss A, and the listing value as it stands, including the ones we've shown you, is one. Oh no, you do it, hun. You do it. Sorry, where are we? That one there. The listing yeah. value one thousand six hundred and sixty-one eighty-three. Oh, so that again, that is less than less than we started. Yes, yeah, but obviously, you look at um, last week, you're obviously your kitty is yeah, completely Yeah, kitty's, yeah, kitty's so, almost, well, well it's more doubled, than, more isn't it? Than, more than doubled. So it's so crazy, isn't week. it? So, Absolutely um, crazy. So, yes, I know, it's it, it's definitely getting there, isn't it? We're very pleased on how it's very going. Very pleased. I mean, next week, we'll have one sale. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens next week. That's the power of a sale on eBay, <laughs> though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so let's now go to our portion of the... Um, video where we've done some research now i've yeah, based yeah, it i didn't yeah. really know what to do on this week hun, so i've based it on things we've bought okay. now that disigual dis skirt yeah. um now i had to google that hun because um it i'm going to get you to put the logo up because the yeah. disigual um the s is back to front oh okay so it's a little oh, bit different right. so yeah, um yeah have a look it's it, you see the s there oh yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's, um, yeah. So I thought I'd have a look because I knew I'd heard the name. I think it probably was the Luxury Pickers, but I'd heard the name and I thought, OK, it's time to learn about something new. So th this is what I've chosen this week. So Desigual, I, I googled how to say it mm. because I didn't know if it was Desigual or Desigual, <laughs> but it, apparently it's Desigual. That's Des what Desigual. someone on, e on um, okay. YouTube is saying. So it's a Spanish fashion mm. label founded by Thomas Mayer in 1984. And it's famous for its distinctively bright colours and playful patterns. So if you see on that skirt, yeah. it's it's quite bright, isn't it? It is, yeah. The company has stores in over 72 countries. Wow. It's surprising that because I'd never heard of it. But, yeah. But okay. we don't buy a lot of branded stuff, hun, do we really, to be honest? So we're filming this on Thursday morning, aren't we? Yeah. So I took a whole day. So yesterday I looked at the day before. So I looked at the 6th of September to see what the pre-owned prices of the Sigwall items are. And you might be quite surprised, hun, to know that 50 items of that brand sold just wow. in that one day. Now, it's not all clothing, some, some are handbags as well. Yeah. But it's still got quite a fair amount of demand for mm. it, for, for a brand that we know nothing about. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is go through and show you some of the buy it now prices um, and what they've sold for, so you can get an idea to of know, you know, what to look out for. So let's have a look, hun, because I've got this lovely coat with green circles that sold for thirty nine pounds plus four ninety nine postage. Wow! So then, hun, we're going to show this quirky mix top, mm. which sold for sixteen ninety nine plus three ninety nine postage. Now, what we try and do, if you haven't seen these videos before, we try and aim to sell things for more than £20. That's our overall... That, that is our aim. It's £20 plus. Yes. Yeah, so, for example, that was £16.99, but with the postage, it takes it to over £20. Yeah, so, yeah. So, everything we're showing you will be over £20, because that's what our model is trying to be, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, now we've got this men's military jacket. So, it's not just ladies, it's men's items yeah. as well. This is £35, and it sold for £35 plus £4 postage. Mm. So that's not bad, is it? Mm. If you if you were to see it for five pound in a charity shop or ten pound yeah, even, yeah. you might give that a go. We've got this pencil skirt that sold for nineteen ninety nine plus four thirty five postage. Mm. So that's not bad for a skirt, is it? No, that's it. And then we've got this jumper that sold for eighteen ninety nine plus three sixty five postage. Wow. 
some good prices so, in. Yeah, so you can see, I've tried to pick a, a mix of things so you can get an idea of some of the patterns. They are mm. bright and they are vibrant. Yeah. Um, and I suppose they, as any designer brand, they want, you know, if you're wearing it, you want people to know you've you've paid the money for mm. it. Um, so that really covers um, De Sigwal. De Sigwal. We'll be looking out for it again, yeah, won't we? Because definitely. it's um, a bit unusual. It's in it's in the memory bank. Well, the memory bank's not great, but it's it's, it's in there. It's, it's in that there. Backwards, that's what's going. Yeah, oh, it. I recognise that. Yeah. But if fifty are selling, you know, typically in a day, then mm. that's not bad, is it? Yeah. So let's have a look now at a different thing, Hum. I've gone for shoes because okay. we sold those lovely silver June shoes yes. that you picked up and mm. hoofed up earlier. Mm. So June London used to be called June. It was founded in 1980, 1992, it's a British shoe and manufacturer and retailer, founded by Daniel Rubin in 1992. And it's known as an affordable luxury brand. And in 2014, June changed to June London. Now this was the thing I noticed when I was looking for solds, when I sold the shoes, I put up June because that was on the shoes. Mm. But some people are selling June London, so there's two lot right. two do lots of souls to look at. So mm. the shoes are only coming up for June, not for June London. So mm. that's something to be aware of if you um, you know making sure you you put the right details in the yeah, title yeah. really. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking at shoes. Fifteen pairs of pre-owned shoes from June sold on the sixth of September. But this is the interesting fact, Tom. When you look at eBay and look at how it works, only six pairs of, of June shoes sold for £20 and, and over. Okay. Now, the reason for that is nine of them went for under £20 and all of those nine were on auction. Right, so yeah. it sort of shows me that we... I mean, we don't do that, do we? We, we don't do auction. We set no, our we, prices and yeah. we... If someone wants to make an offer yeah. or if it doesn't sell, we'll chip away at the price. But we would never put something on for... a you know three pound and put it on auction mm. because it could go for three pound it could yeah, so exactly. this clearly shows that that's what's happens with some mm. of these items and of the six that went for over 20 pound um on the on ebay five of them were buying now and only one of them was an auction mm. um so it just goes to show to get the most for something you do need to put it on buy it now mm. so i'm going to go through some of these shoes just to give you an idea um, we've got these lovely Buffy court shoes. I couldn't read my writing on, even with the glasses. These went £50 on offer. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> so their shoes are lovely and they yeah. are of good quality. So these next ones, hun, are Befriend Pattern Extreme Platforms. £25 plus £3 postage. I wouldn't, mm. I wouldn't be able to wear these, hun. They're gorgeous, no, yeah. gorgeous shoes, but it's, I'd be breaking an ankle. These are nice, though. These are crimson velvet court shoes, twenty four ninety five plus two pound forty five. Mm. Then we've got some black leather brogues, twenty four ninety nine plus four pound postage. Now the one I'm going to show you now is the one where they went on an auction and they did actually achieve over £20 but they are quite gorgeous yeah. and I think that's why Okay. these are the rose gold court shoes and they went for £19.8p and plus £4.20 now on the shoes we had we had them up for £24.99 yeah, yeah. and we took an offer Yeah. now what we're doing with the challenge is because we've got a set time um, we are trying to sell things quicker so mm. we could have held on and probably towards Christmas when party season kicks in we probably would have got 24 99 mm. but we were happy to take 20 because we are trying to reinvest and to build our pot for as, as yeah. quickly as possible aren't we really mm. but it just goes to show that some of these um, June shoes if we were to see them in charity shops for around the five pound ish if they were amazing maybe a bit more but if around the five pound ish, we would definitely be picking them up, wouldn't we? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. So you know, some of the others that sold for under twenty pound are gorgeous shoes, mm. but because they've gone on an auction, they haven't, yeah, so they they haven't achieved, achieved their maximum yeah, or they haven't achieved their full potential, really. Mm. Yeah. So this is what we've been looking at this week: shoes and um, de Sigwal. Yeah. Um, 
but yes, we are enjoying it. We are. We're getting there, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're now getting just, there. You know, when we go out, I'm, I seem to be um, remembering more and more remembering now. More, and we're really <laughs> sort of narrowing down in the, yeah. um, you know, in the brands that we're looking for. Aren't yeah, we? We, yeah, we're sort it. of knowing a little bit more each week, and um, it's all building. So we're mm. very tough with it, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yeah, definitely. So if you're if you're taking the time to leave us a comment, we're, we're so grateful because it really spurs us on oh, it does. to know that someone's watching. Yeah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's rambling on. Yeah. Um, so we want to thank you for your support. It's very kind. We're we're it's going a lot better than we thought it would. Yeah. We are learning, and um, we are spotting things, and we're getting quite chuffed with it all, aren't we? Yeah. I'm loving going out and spending money every week shopping. Um, oh, it's, it's uh, perfect. We it? those sort of charity shops for us. What woman it? wouldn't want to go out and spend two hundred pounds on clothing? <laughs> no, no, that's it. What a great! This is my job, hun. I'm loving oh, no. it. <laughs> so we'll wrap it up now because we're yeah. what I'm waffling. Yeah, press the button, waffling. Press the yeah, button. the waffle button. Yeah. Aren't we? <laughs> so thanks ever so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch our challenge video. And if you liked our content, please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notification for future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.